Hey guys, so I wanted to do a tiny little drugstore haul, which is funny because I just did a lot of shopping recently, but I wanted to pick up some nail products and some lip products and a new product that I was very excited about that I'm currently wearing, and yeah, so let's just hop right into it. Um, I wanted to get some new um, nail polishes and... I don't know, I've, I've, I really, I have like four simple color nail polishes, so I wanted to kind of start collecting them, and they're really, really, really cheap in California. They're like $1.50, but they were like on sale, so they were like buy one, get one half off. So I got four because I was like, what the heck? So the first one I got is called Dancy Nails, and it's a really pretty, almost like a blush rose color. So I was pretty excited. I'm actually going to paint my nails this color tonight. And then I got three glitter type ones. So the lightest one I thought would go really well with this blush. I don't know. I thought these two could be kind of fun. Um, but it's got a bunch of blush sequins in it with some rainbow sequins. So I thought it was pretty. And it's called Show Stopping. And it is indeed Show Stopping. It's gorgeous. I love it. I'm very excited. And then... Um, this one was gorgeous. This one is called Superstar. This was probably my second favorite one. Um, and it's kind of got purples and sequins and greens. And it kind of, it reminds me of like, I don't know, kind of like Hawaii is like, and I've also been to the Mediterranean Sea. It reminds me of the colors in the Mediterranean Sea as well. It's gorgeous. So that one's called Superstar. And then this one, I was so excited when I saw this color because it's pink and purple with like a blue undertone as well. And they're all like glitter polishes. And it's called Stardust, which I think is a highly appropriate name for this nail polish. It's just gorgeous. And I'm very excited. Ah, I cannot wait to paint my toes this color because it's so unique and to use Superstar because these two are like ridiculously gorgeous or you could use one as an accent color for your fingers or just do your toes every other one. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And just I just thought that these two would go like, they go really well together, I think. I think they just bring out the blush and the rose in each other. So I thought that was really nice. And then you guys know I've been raving about my current lip gloss, which I'm wearing. It's, it is like my everyday that and my Maybelline Baby Lips. But this is the Giordana. For those of you that are wondering what it is, it's the LOL Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss. It is not sticky at all. And it really, I kid you not, this stuff lasts. It is not sticky at all. It's super, super, super moisturizing. And I highly recommend it because it is a dollar, one whole dollar. Yeah. And I love this peach color. And when I went back to CVS, they had more colors, and they were sold out, and I couldn't figure out what they were sold out, so I got this peach one because I was like, I'll try it, which I'm currently wearing all by itself. There's nothing else on my lips, um, and I love this color. I get so many compliments. Then I got this bright, bright, kind of like um, it's almost like a bright, bright red, but there's almost like a blue undertone going on inside of it, so yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, I thought this was like a fun night out, and especially if you find a good lip gloss that's like dirt cheap that is not sticky, I will get as many colors as I can. These are the only three I've been able to find. They did have a weird nude one, and I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah, I think it would just wash me out. And then I got this really pretty frosted, almost like a baby pink, um, which reminds me of my MAC Dazzle glass without all the glitter in it. So... That is pretty much all it is. It's like a dazzle glass without the glitter in it. But it was 99 cents. Beat that. So I was very excited about those. And then um, I picked up, <laughs> I bought a lot of lip products. But that's okay. Um, there's a new lipstick brand, and it's called Kate. And this is what the packaging looks like. It is so freaking cute. Like, are you kidding me? And then it has a heart as if it couldn't get cuter. So this is what the packaging looks like. So I got two different colors. I got color 90 and 109. And this one is color 109. It's in the 
uh, Rimmel London series by Kate. And I love this color. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. It is ridiculously pigmented and it's kind of like a peachy coral with almost like a really light orange undertone. So, but it's really, really, really light. Like it's not like bright coral which I love because it's very muted and the packaging is adorable. Like, are you kidding me? And it was on sale for $2, two whole dollars for a massive tube of lipstick. Yeah, it's more ounces than my MAC lipstick for $2. Highly pigmented. And the second color I got is in the color number 90, which <laughs> this is also $2. They're like on sale. This color, I gravitate to brighter pinks. <laughs> and I like this one because um, it's more of a raspberry pink than like a bright, bright pink or more of a berry raspberry pink is what I think of. But look at those two colors. I like barely rubbed it on there. Two bucks. Beat that. You just can't beat that. I dare you. So anyways, I thought these colors were stunning for spring. And I love springtime and I just love these kind of colors on my lips during the springtime. And then more into the berry tones and the neons are my all-time favorite in like April and May and June and July. And <laughs> this is really funny. So I went over to Maybelline and everyone's been raving about, like I have several Maybelline lipsticks. So I went back over and they have a new summer line. And in they're in these bright brand new. They're called the Studio line and they're in bright neon packaging. And the color that I got, um, I've had my eye on this for a while. It's called M Vibrant Mandarin and it is, it is an orange color. And that is what it looks like. It is orange. That's all I'm going to say. It is orange. But I was thinking orange with a clear gloss with like aquamarine eyes would be amazing or like a black smoky eye. Like are you kidding me? Look at that color. I couldn't pass it up. I, I couldn't believe it. I think that it is the most unique color I've ever seen for lipstick. I've never seen a color like that. It's almost like a carrot color. It is a carrot color, right? Am I right? Anyways, so I thought the lipstick, I love Maybelline lipsticks. They're extremely moisturizing. So I was like, I need to buy this orange color. <laughs> so I'll have to play around with it and do a tutorial with like aquamarine eyes or something. I think is what's going to happen with the bright orange. But look at these lipsticks. I mean, I barely paid. I paid like this was $7. The Maybelline lipstick was $7, but it was buy one, get one half off for Maybelline products. So the other product that I wanted to try is the Maybelline Color Whisper. The packaging looks like this. It says Whisper on it, on the front right there. And it's really pretty. Um, it's very tiny, though. My Revlon Lip Butters, I think, have more product in them than this does. But the color, um, the color I got is in Coral Ambition, which everyone was raving about. And um, I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to check it out. But it's definitely... Um, it's, it's pretty for spring. It's a little sheerer than I want it to be, but I think it's really, really pretty there. So, I don't know. I, I think it's a good muted color. Um, I think it's really pretty against my skin tone, too. It's not, like, too bright, and it's not, like, dark. So, I don't know. Um, I know these are, like, wax-free and everything, so I want to try the product, and if I like it, I'll get the darker colors. Um... But, yeah, these were my lip products, and I don't know. I'm not too sure about the Maybelline Color Whisper, honestly. I'll have to kind of try it. But, I mean, you can see it. It's there. And it's not it's not dark at all, but it's not light either. It's kind of like a good in-between every day or I'm going to tea and I want to wear lipstick, but I don't want to stain my napkin kind of lip color, if that makes any sense. So, I don't know. I think it's really pretty for spring, and I'll probably use it up and get darker colors is, I think, what I'll try. But I wanted to try for spring colors. These are kind of my, my spring colors, and I think they're gorgeous. Like, are you kidding me? And then the last thing I'm wearing on my face right now, I've been trying it out all day. Um, this is the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream, 
and it is SPF 30, which is why I wanted to buy it. Because I actually ran out of the house today and forgot to pack my foundation, and I had a coupon for $3 off a Revlon product. So this was um, $11, and I got it for $8, which I was like, you know what, it's a big enough package. It's great, and I'm in the color um, light medium or color 20, and um, I tried it on. I like I guessed at my color, and it hit me dead on. Like I was spot on as far as the color. The product itself, um, it's kind of like um, it almost feels like more of a tinted moisturizer when it shears out. But the coverage itself is really nice. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't feel waxy. Um, it doesn't have like, it's almost like a little glow is in the product itself. You can see the glow on my hand. So it does give off a nice, like almost like a dewy glow, which I thought was nice. The, I love that it's SPF 30. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's fantastic. Um, my heights makeup has SPF 20, so this was, like, incredible. So I just thought, you know, for springtime, I just want to wear kind of something lighter. And my Laura Mercier BB Cream is so expensive, so this is a great alternative to a $42 tinted moisturizer. I would highly re recommend it. Um, it's got, like, vitamins and minerals, broad spectrum, SPF 20, um, skin perfecter, and illuminator. So, and it's like a primer all in one. So I highly recommend it. Check it out. Um, go to CVS or, you know, I've seen them all over the place. They're everywhere. So um, I know BB cream is like the new hype. It's like the it thing right now. But anyway, so these were my products that I purchased. And it's just, I thought it was perfect for spring and kind of going into like May and bright colors. And by the time we get to end of April, I'm wearing full on bright eyes. I wear tons of aquamarines and purples and like bright greens because um, I have brown eyes. So I will um, have to do a tutorial and show you guys my looks, but I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.